We have something sad to tell you today. The Ride More channel. <laughs> I can't say it. Can you, can you, can you splice it? Do you want me to start over? Let me start over. <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay, ready? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Stop. Give me a second. Give me. I can't smile. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you seen your All right, guys. Today on the Ride More channel, things took a turn for the worst. My. <laughs> My 340. Uh, I'll show you what happened right here. We're gonna be fixing it today. Oh boy, look at all this snow. There's Valhalla, Mike. Hey, what are you doing? I almost died. Did you? I almost died a couple times on the way over. <laughs> we gotta rip some sleds. Which ones are we ripping today? I think I'm gonna take the 340 out. Hey, 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 hey. There's the old 340. The old pink beauty. The old RX-1 might be up for sale pretty soon. I actually put this on Facebook last week and I have like 60 people messaging me but they're all people who watch the videos. <laughs> That's your sled though. <laughs> Didn't that work good? <laughs> it did work good, I'll give you that. Yeah. Little dagger there went into the tree and saved your light. That's what those are for. Well, if anyone wants to see me cut that tree down, say so below. <laughs> We're sick of driving the old beater sled, so we're gonna get the good ones we're out. We're gonna start a real sled now. This sled <laughs> has stood the test of time. <laughs> yeah, it sure has, buddy. 30 years of romping, and I never give up. Oh, we got life! We got life! Oh! We bought this thing for how much? A hundred bucks. Snowmobile shopping. Watch that video if you haven't seen it. I'll have you guys know I've been working really hard on my mullet. Oh. Oh. I should get my assault out and we'll go do uh, some ripping, eh? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, I do. That's what the name of the sled should be. Yeah, the 340 whip rack. <laughs> Yeah, let's go for the woods. I'll follow you. I don't know how much gas I have, but let's go. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, nice little trail back here. I remember one of the first snowmobile videos we made. We went camping out here. You remember that with the MXZ 700? Which everybody and their brother asked me about all the time, by the way. We gotta get that thing back up. Please the people. Oh yeah. Where are we going? It's hard to keep up with that the power of that 340. This is what they call boondocking for real. Oh, that's a track stabber. Oh, I'm pinned against this tree. <sighs> Hung up. There you go. You got hung up on that stump. Oh, there it is. Yep, you're stuck. Oh, God, that is a big one. I didn't think I'd have to get the toe strap out this early. <laughs> you got back on that stump. No. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to help you. What we should do, oh yeah, this will work. Let's just pull it down. And you'll get it run at it. This thing is so light. And then you'll be able to go for it. Give her the old goose. Wheelie up that. Oh! <laughs> nope. It's this friggin' log or rock or whatever. You keep keep humping this thing. That's, that is a rock. Yes! Alright, now you can go right between the rock and the tree. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Didn't even have to get the ratchet strap. Oh. They probably can't Look at this. Is. This looks good. Right there. How you got to get through the trees? You have to have perfect aim to get through these trees. You're going to hit your skis and they're going to go fold up and they're going to go right in. 
And Mike says he's got to make it through here without getting stuck. I'm going to say when he rounds this corner here to try and aim it to get between the trees, he's going to get stuck. We can, we can bury you out. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you were properly stuck for sure. God, imagine getting the arcs one that stuck like this. Yeah, it would be done. It wouldn't have gotten stuck here though. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> it would have gotten stuck back there. Oh. Hold up. Do you blow your belt? <laughs> what is going on here? Are you still stuck in your hole? Is your track going? Your belt? Let's take a peek. Is it off? No? It's still there. But she's burning though. Yeah. Oh, there it is. You had some sticks and stuff in there. Oh yeah, I just blew out a whole chunk of chunk of the woods. Some prime real estate you just lost there. Oh, go, go! Oh, he, yeah, your head almost clipped this tree here. <laughs> yeah, you almost got stuck. I didn't want to hit that tree. Oh, yes. All right, Mike's stuck. I like the log crossings. Oh, yeah. That thing really likes to eat up some ground, huh? A little bit more. There it is. Electrocuted. My heated grip score is through my arm. Yep. Was that a clearing? I can't see anything. Man, that thing is a riot. Is it bogging? You run out of gas? Oh yeah, a wicked bog. Whoa! My foot slipped off the running board. <laughs> right over. What do you think? You keep getting electrocuted? Maybe that's why I'm losing power. You just keep riding it while you're getting electrocuted? Look at this beauty. Man, I hate to see this thing go, but, you know, every dog has its day. There you go. Let's see the dirtiest 340 Indy car. Does it have enough power to carve like that? Is it still losing power? Oh, man. Let me try to take it for a little rip. Oh, yeah, nothing. Oh, God. See a thing. Ugh. I'm wondering if it's the coil going bad. Coil? Maybe. I'm grabbing the bumper and the heated grip at the same time, I was getting left. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, I thought I was done for. Yeah. I saw my light flash before my eyes. Are you stuck again? I gotta pull you? Oh wow! Huh? Where are we? <laughs> yeah, that, that's bad. We both knew this would happen. I think it will tear off. You're missing a bolt, first of all. 
there. Oh, <laughs> I think the, the the worst way to tow a sled is by the bumper. This out. Right, yep, somebody else did that too. Actually, that may be your only option. Well, you got a nice stick in here. I mean, it is a super light sled, so if you're willing to risk your bumper, we brought the bad strap for this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> what did you run over? <laughs> My snow flap? I took some chunks off. <laughs> yeah, I can't, uh, I can't film <laughs> and look where I'm going at the same time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going straight, okay. Are we gonna make it through there? Oh God, I don't know if I can do it. Yeah! Hey, we're home free! Wow, that was, that was like so easy. <laughs> Things are not supposed to be that easy. 1991, 92. <laughs> Look at this. 2009 Ford Crown Victoria Snowmobile. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Alright. Carb time. I didn't think it had stun on this thing. That's why I was doing so good on the logs. A couple of little baby teeth missing. <laughs> Lost its baby teeth. Oh, I guess it wasn't on there tight, huh? Oh, that could be. You're sucking air. I think I'm definitely sucking air. Those things weren't tight at all. The air box is what's holding it in place. We just inspect these boots here. Oh, there's some cracking. Oh, uh, your boots cracked? That would not help your air situation. See that? <laughs> oh, I do see it. These clamps for the carpet are just sitting here. One of them doesn't even have a screw. <laughs> You're missing a screw. And that's a problem. Yeah, I might it. have one. You think you got to screw that size? What are these? <laughs> it's like you got dreads or something. <laughs> it's like those people put the beads on yeah. their hair. No <laughs> beads. <laughs> what is that? I managed to find this electric fence, so I snipped this off the farmer's fence. <laughs> <laughs> This works good. I use my this on my muffler all the time. <laughs> and he's always putting it back, back up too, so never run out. So you gotta put the wire on that side and put the bolt back on the other. Yeah. Alright, I need a freaking Phillips. You wanna look in my bucket? <laughs> oh yes. Come on, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting some tightening action. Not as tight as it once was, but as tight once as it ever was. How are you getting the farmer's fence going? These horses will appreciate the freedom, I'm sure. This is an old trick I learned from downtown. Mm, oh yeah, that's good. This is a temporary fix. We're going to fix it the right way. When Next year. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to do some picking up here, and then we're going to get back out on the trail. <laughs> Does that go in? Fuel filters, and that's not an issue. And a new fuel pump, too. And a new fuel pump. <laughs> it sounds better. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Is it running better? It is. Really? You want to rip it? Yeah, I do. Wow, that pulls over so easy. <laughs> it's running good. <laughs> that is a hard landing, but it's running good. Yeah. I think that one gave me a colonoscopy. <laughs> the bike a little honestly. Oh man. That's still pretty tight. Let her have it. Oh. 
No, not quite enough. Come on, old girl. Come on, old girl. <laughs> Bug wrench. You wonder how your friggin' things get rounded out. Let me help you. Oh god, that's it that small. What is this? You got what is that? Up on a tree or something. It's my snow skirt. <laughs> snow skirt. <laughs> your plugs look great. Yeah, exactly. That's not a lot of compression, but it, it is a small motor, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> You're at it, the branch. You like that? Yeah. And then uh, go hit some jumps. Oh, man. Oh, God. Your fence. Uh, good thing it's an Indy light. <laughs> Did you smash your bumper? Oh, God. Let's see. Let's see the damage. I think you're fine, it's just the tub. Yeah. Oh god, you're gonna have to patch that up. Oh my goodness. I was bogging, bogging, I got a burst of power, I kicked the rear end over and I hit the tree. I was trying to go through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you did a number on your <laughs> bumper. Uh, your bumper, yeah. Look at it, he's like smirking. Look at that. You cracked your tub. And you really smashed yeah, your... Yeah, cracked all the way around. Yeah, you're going to have to do some zip tie job or... Oh, God. That's, we can fix it. It's not a big deal. That is the saddest part of the day right there. But, yeah, that is pretty sad. I didn't even hit that tree hard. I just pushed it barely. I know. All that, and I just lightly tapped a tree in my yard. <laughs> it looks even worse from this side. Damage so easily. <laughs> I was oh. three miles an hour. This is my prized snowmobile. How did that happen? I can't believe it. It's so fragile, and it went 30 years, and this has never happened. It's like this thing was like an egg. I just like I was going this fast, and I tapped it, and it just caved in and popped the hood. What do we do? We hammer that in and pry bar this out? Well. See what's inside we gotta pop that first so we can open the hood enough force we can get that to pop back it out. just tore the whole thing this must have been cracked already when you hit this it puts so much pressure on that side yeah. just popped oh, it right I'm out hammer and it? it's i mean it's plastic I drive my jeep into it i think we can just push it gently <laughs> <laughs> you put the axe away come on should i put a rope on the front bumper and you pull it Try it. yeah okay bring your sled over here i'll turn this Oh my god. You know, if we uh, just get on it. Give it the CD. <laughs> one, two, one, two, come on. Breathe. We're going to put the strap here. It's going to slide over. It's going to friggin' tear your whole friggin' motor right out. Second time we've had to giddy this pony up for <laughs> the wretched strap. Make sure there's a lot of slack. Yeah. Oh my god. This is not going to look good. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Well, we're there. The hood opens. <laughs> we're there. there. Let's go rip. We're going to start a new channel where we fix ratchet straps. Fix old ratchet straps. Always make sure the blade is towards you. That's a weak strap. I'll tell you what, I'll even get rid of this spray down so it looks professional. <laughs> like you just got it in Walmart. <laughs> oh yeah, squeeze the water right out of it. Okay, here you go. Perfect. Two fixed today. Guys, look at this. Look how beautiful that came out. If you don't look too hard, it looks great. Bumper's almost, <laughs> almost in a normal shape. Again, <laughs> plastics are not too noticeable. I think she's ready to rip. I'd like to give a shout out to every single viewer of this video. You have single-handedly made us one of the best YouTube channels in existence. And we are going to continue doing some hard work. 